Yes, what's good everybody? Quick shit vid. Um, game tomorrow. Wolves going to be a difficult game, obviously. Uh, Phillips and Cooper apparently back in squad there in training today. So Marsh walked out straight at the start of the video and he goes, typical English weather or something. I'm not good at accents, but I just thought the bloke never shuts up. But not that I'm not behind him, everybody. I'm just saying. Hello, sorry everybody. Um, look, we are one big happy family here, yeah? Now, I've been trying to welcome you, you guys. You know, I didn't want you here, but you're here now. So, you know, well done, welcome. Uh, but that's a big boost that them two are back. And it's also a big boost for all Cooper haters, to be fair, because uh, now that Roberts is gone, you'll have somebody to blame again. Because somebody actually blamed Roberts against Norwich somehow in one of the comments. <laughs> which is exceptional work. It really is the best of the best. So at least he'll be on bench for if it does go tit. So Wolves are obviously a decent side. They beat Watford and Everton in the last two games, which is good for us, evidently. Eighth in the league. Um, Triore, etc. Beast, isn't he? Fast. I know he doesn't always start, but he always, I always think he's a problem against us. Obviously, we play a little bit different now, potentially, so... You know, it's not so much he, he does once he beats the man, he's, he's off, isn't he? And he, do, he can just totally break on us. Um, but yeah, I'm up, relatively optimistic, which is probably a little bit crazy of me to suggest, really, when we just about snuck past Norwich. I'm hoping there's no negative moves from him tomorrow, really. I'd rather it just, let's just go for it a little bit. And if, if we do manage to go 1 0 up, let's try and uh, maintain that. Rather than going, I didn't like the substitution where we brought uh, Rodrigo off. I'm aware that he's pulled up, pulled a bit, uh, had a tightness in his leg, but to just swap him for Robin Cock, I thought was crazy. It just totally shut the game down when we had all impetus. So, yeah, difficult one, but I'm going to go one all and I'm going to go Bamford to score. Uh, we don't play till April after this, which is sad, isn't it? But get plenty of rest for Cooper, Phillips, and Bamford as well. Um. So, yeah. Watford are on the same amount of games as us, and they play Liverpool next, and then us, but they don't, they don't, there's, a, there's a game to be reorganised, I can't remember if it's against Southampton or something, but uh, their next game is legitimately Liverpool, if, not, if it's not reorganised, which it won't be now, uh, and then straight into us. So if we beat them, it, well, if we win tomorrow against Wolves, which I think is a long shot, but if we, if we water and then beat Watford, it pulls us 10 points clear of them on the same amount of games. And that's ignoring Fat Frank's side altogether. So, And I'm not concerned about Burnley because I don't think they can pick up many wins. I know everybody's been saying that they're on a rich rain of form, rich rain of form for some reason, but they're not. the shit. So, uh, yeah, and that's ignoring Fat Frank. Don't even worry about it. Two games, two massive games. Pulls us 10 points clear. Pulls us 11 points clear of Burnley, currently what they're on. And you've got to imagine, I know they've got, I think, is it two games in hand or something, but... They're not the what? They're not going to pick up any wins there. Uh, Cox come out in a, He's been in. He's done like a, a German interview or something, and it's like a bit like you never know because they're just quote. I've not watched it. I've just read the quotes, and it's hard to sometimes pick up on it. But they were talking about a potential like move back to Bundesliga, and he said it's something he's not thinking about, but he, he won't rule it out. Which is like they don't normally say. They normally just say it's something I'm not thinking about, and they normally just leave it at that, don't they? But you never know how it's interpreted and all that. Because in the same token, he did also say uh, that the contract doesn't differ if we go down, which he said we were, and I agree we were. So this is all like fairy tale talk, really, or not fairy tale. It's more of a what's the opposite of a fairy tale? I don't know. Horror show, but it's not really fairy horror. You know what I'm saying. We won't go down, but apparently his contract doesn't differ even if we do go down, which is what he said. And he said that the team, had, they've all agreed they'd stay together, which I'm sure we can all agree is a total lie, because I could think of five of them off the top of my head that would be straight out of the door. So, yeah, what you're saying on that. Um, I'm putting some music out. This weekend, possibly. I'm going to put out a little video on Sunday, I think. So if you want to support me, there's my links below and stuff like that. I'll drop back in 
I might drop back in tomorrow depending on what time I get done here. Um, just with another little quick shit vid, see if there's all else that's popped up. Uh, but if not, I'll be back in on Saturday, Sunday. So yeah, take it easy everybody. Let us know what you reckon the score will be. Uh, and what your thoughts are going forward. Surprises why I asked no